everybody, Sister Scaleback, Kathy, coming in for my week 44 gastric bypass update. I had surgery at Toronto Western Hospital in Toronto, Ontario, Canada on June 16th, 2014. My highest weight ever was 361 pounds. Day of surgery, I was 339 pounds. Last week, I came to you with 251, possibly. I don't remember, but I think so. And then this week, I am at 250. So right on the money. I'm so close to being in the 40s, um, and I'll, I'll take it. I'm happy. Uh, it's, it's going down. I am going to the gym. I've been working out, and I've been doing it regularly. Key word, consistency. I like that word. A lot of people have said it. Why it took me 10 months to actually live it, I'm such a procrastinator. To all you procrastinators out there, listen, you got to do it. You can't put it off. We only have a limited amount of time. And I, and I knew that. And I said it to myself. And still I put it off and I put it off. I'd do it and then I'd stop doing it. And then I'd do it again. Then I'd stop doing it. Now... I have come to an understanding with myself that it's just a fact of life. I have to. It's a fact of life. It's a way of life. And I'm going to be doing this forever. Maybe even in the afterlife. <laughs> like, I am solid with the idea that I am going to work out minimum three times a week, preferably five times a week. So I feel a lot better doing that. Um, I've noticed that I have a little bit more strength, not a lot, but a little bit, and it will come as I build the muscle. Um, I'm doing a lot of weight lift training, a lot of, right now I'm staying with machines, I don't do free weights. I don't want to hurt myself. <laughs> Uh, there are times when I'm worried the machines might hurt me, but um, I do the maximum amount of weight that I can handle. I don't have a trainer. I don't have anyone giving me uh, any sort of coaching. I'm just, I've just decided if I can lift it, I'm going to. And I'm surprising myself. I can lift stuff. I can push and pull stuff. My weakest is actually the tricep curl, which is where we want to work on our flappy arms anyway, right? Um, and my strongest is in my legs. Um, surprising, you know, the uh, inner and outer thigh, I can push and, and pull quite a bit. Uh, well over 100 pounds. So I'm excited about that. I do walk at the park. I walk around my house. I don't use the treadmill much unless it's raining uh, at the gym because I dislike treadmills. I just do. Uh, tomorrow, Thursday, Jerry goes for his surgical education class. For those of you who have not followed my, uh, my YouTube channel, Jerry is my husband. He is also going through for bariatric surgery, hoping he's going to get the sleeve. And um, after his surgical education class tomorrow, it will probably be anywhere from six weeks to 10 weeks before he actually meets his surgeon and gets a date. So we're hoping for July, but we're thinking maybe August. Let's pray for July. Well, yeah, he's a school bus driver, so we, we want him to be healed up before September rolls around again. But if he has to take time off, he has to take time off because I want him to get healthy. Um, so it's going to be a short one tonight, guys. I just wanted to give a real quick update. It's still coming down in the weight department, and I'm still happy. It's slowed down quite a bit at the 10-month mark, one or two pounds a week. But that's okay. I'm, I'm totally okay with that. It is, more about, it is more than just about the weight. At this point, 
it's about my quality of life and I am having a blast. I'm loving the freedom of movement I have. I'm loving the confidence I'm gaining at the gym. Uh, I just, I mean, I can bend down and pick stuff up without even thinking twice. I walk so much easier than I used to and all of my comorbidities are resolved. So what more can I say? If you are considering gastric bypass or the sleeve, you know, do your research. But I'm telling you from my perspective, from my opinion, if you're suffering from high blood pressure, type 2 diabetes, this surgery is for you. So go out there. Have a great week, everybody. And I will do a little bit of an update maybe after Jerry has his class. It's really just stuff we all already know. Uh, they just have to go over it and dot all their I's and cross all their T's. Um, maybe we'll do an update for him in a week or two. But I uh, hope to see you all next week. I hope to keep watching all of your videos. I'm getting all caught up, uh, waiting for more. So if you haven't made one in a while, what are you waiting for? Talk to you later, guys. Bye.